the Emperor's new clothes. Emperor Claude liked buying suits, expensive clothes, and glitzy boots. He even had a classy pair of gleaming golden underwear. The Emperor held a ball each year, where he would rudely gloat and jeer. My clothes cost more than yours, he bragged. Your cloak looks like a plastic bag. Claude showed, shows off his is without a care he's got a lot of clothes to wear but one day Claude was in despair these cloaks are all too bland and bare I need new clothes for my next ball I'm the Emperor after all some clever robber stood nearby and overheard Claude give his this cry Let's play a trick, said Flo to Rose, and claim that we make special clothes. Claude thinks all his, the suits are bare. Will he find new clothes to wear? They dressed as tailors right away. They went to talk to Claude that day. For twenty bags of gold, Flo said, we'll weave some clothes from glinter thread. What kind of clothes, cried Claude, with glee, said Rose. They're clothes that fools can't see. The floaty fabric's light as air. It feels like wearing underwear. Claude believes the clever pair. Will he find new clothes to wear? How glorious, the emperor said. Please get to work. I'm off to bed. He left them in a pleasant room with glistening gold and one big loom. But what Claude simply didn't know was neither the thief could even, could even sew. They played with all the gold instead and slept once it was time for bed. Claude gives them some gold to share. Will he find new clothes to wear? Before too long, Claude wished to peek at all the clothes they made that week. He sent his clever friend called Claire to check the clothes weaved by the pair. But when Claire glanced inside the room, the robbers flew back to the loom. They flicked their fingers through the air pretending cloth was flowing there. Claire peeks in and gets a scare. Will Claude find new clothes to wear? Claire looked around in gloom and dread. She couldn't glimpse a single thread. Oh no, thought Claire. What do I do? If Claude thinks I'm a fool, I'm through. So Claire flew back to Emperor Claude and lied, the clothes look great, my lord. The cloak is blue and very cheek. It's perfect for your ball next week. Emperor Claude believes young Claire. Will he find new clothes to wear? So Claude ran in to see them too, but there was no clothes in his view. If Claire could see the cloth, cloth thought he, she's not a fool, it's only me. The two sly robbers laughed at Claude. They asked him, Are you pleased, my lord? The emperor claimed. I like them all. I'll be the best dressed at the ball. Claude's confused. There's nothing there. Will he find new clothes to wear? The day came for Claude's royal ball, and people flocked into the hall. They clustered round on tippy toes to see the emperor's magic clothes. Some guessed he'd wear a glittery suit, 
and other pictured glitzy boots. But every guest there knew the rule, and hoped that they would that they were not a fool. Soon the guests are everywhere. Will Claude new Claude find new clothes to wear? When Claude arrived, he struck a pose to show off his brand new clothes. The guest glanced up, then he had to stare. Claude was in his underwear. But no one laughed as Claude walked by. Instead, the guest began to lie. What classy cloth, what glitzy thread. Your clothes are gorgeous, they said. Glorious, they said. Claude is in his underwear. Will he find new clothes to wear? At last, Claude passed a boy called Fred, who didn't care what others said. Fred giggled, then he shrieked with glee. He's got no clothes on, can't you see? The guests all laughed, and Claude blushed red. I've been a fool, the emperor said. Claude sacked the thieves and hired Fred to help him choose new clothes instead. Fred has clothes advice to share. Claude will buy new clothes to wear.